This is the Soldier of God, Yoel Romero. Welcome to the stage, the UFC middleweight champion of the world, the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And I don't really care about records, man. F records, you know? This guy right here is a guy that no one ever calls out, allegedly. Only ever, I think, David Branch called him out. But I want to test myself against everyone of this era who's a beast. And he's a beast, so I'm going to test him. Um, I feel great. Ah, uh, yeah. Fire, see who is the more. It's only what I'm thinking. Uh, I feel great. I feel the same. The, the, the same time, uh, uh, you know, it is what it is. The most important is to stay here, you know. Um, I say thank you, God. I thank uh, Israel for, for accepting the fight, you know. Y vamos a hacer lo que el pueblo quiere, lo que la gente necesita. Vamos a hacer esta cosa, ¿me entiendes? Vamos a hacer lo que verdaderamente quieren, que es ver los mejores, ¿me entiendes? Él dice que necesitaba pelear con el mejor. He said he needs to fight it with the best, with the base. Y si estoy aquí es porque es. Is that it? And also for you all, Israel just mentioned some past weight issues that you had. Are you, are you confident with your weight going into this fight? El peso tuyo. Tú tengo confianza en tu. My brother, believe me, I don't think about my weight now. Never in my life I stay. I have a problem with my weight. That's a lie. That's a fucking lie. No, bro. Straight up, you've missed weight like three or four times. How is that true? You've missed weight already. From missing weight to stool gate. Mr. Isa. No, no, he's okay, he's okay. I don't need this shit. <laughs> no, yet. in your seats, please. Boss, not yet. All right, all right. And you gotta understand, this is, a. Hey, he's had how many shots? He's had how many chances to try and be a champion in the UFC? Three or four. This is his last shot. This is his last chance at a belt. So I know at his age, he's going to bring everything in his power to try and take this away from me. And I'm going to do everything in my power not to make it happen. So you best believe he's coming ready and so am I. Thanks. He say it's the, my last chance. It's the same way that si alguien te da la última oportunidad de vida, tú la vas a tomar y la vas a tomar a toda costa. You know what I'm saying? He say it's the last chance. He need careful. He need be careful. That's what I say because he say it's my last chance. It's my last chance. That's what I do. I know what I do. I know. Believe me, guys. Believe me. <laughs> I love you too. I love you too. All right. That is exactly why I stay here because I love you everybody here. That's that. I don't like to talk too much. All my life, I, all my life, I not talk too much. Only what I do, I do. I not talk. That's that. Just keep doing what I do. I mean, check out the Rich Eisen show. I did that yesterday. I was in LA. I flew all the way from Auckland. That's, that's a 10, 11 hour flight. And I came to LA for one day, did a gang of work, still trained, came to Houston, trained straight away as I got here, slept, woke up, trained, did some media, and I'm here again. And I'm about to fly straight away right after this, go back home and keep training. I land at 6 a.m. and then 12 p.m. I have Spider, which is the hardest workout of the week. I'm going straight into that. That's why I'm going to be the next cash cow of the UFC because I work. He says he only, he, I don't talk, I don't talk, I just do. Get you a man that can do both.